even big tech is not as cushy as it used to be. This year, nearly 50,000 people have already been laid off from their jobs in the tech industry. I just got laid off about two hours ago. I was a victim of being laid off with the massive tech layoffs. We're going to be announcing that we're restructuring. And Gen Z now is starting to look at a different sector that's nearly layoff proof. I'm Katie Natopoulos. I'm a senior correspondent at Business Insider. In the 2010s, it was pretty cushy to work at places like Amazon or Meta, Google. The salaries were high, the jobs were pretty steady, and there was tons of perks like free food. Mm, thank you. Free daycare. <laughs> and even free laundry services. Oh, thank you. And these tech companies had money to burn. They were funding these moonshot projects, things like a wind turbine kite, um, a self-driving car, robotic uh, cell service tower on a balloon. So now companies are starting to cut back and even lay people off. I think we can all agree that working in tech is not an amazing place to be right now. So why is this happening? For a long period in the 2000s and 2000s and 10s, it was really cheap to borrow money. There were low interest rates. It was called the ZERP period, zero interest rate phenomenon. The Fed has raised interest rates. This affects things like the cost of a home mortgage loan, for example. But it also means that for companies, it's harder to raise capital, raise money. This means it's just more expensive to run a business. During COVID, a lot of these companies grew a lot and they hired a lot. And there was over hiring during this period. And now they're sort of adjusting and cutting back. And the last reason is AI. And a lot of these companies, they're not replacing workers directly with jobs that are run by a robot or AI. But what's actually happening is a lot of these big temp companies are sort of rethinking and restructuring their workforce around new goals about how they're going to develop AI. You're still working in corporate and you haven't been laid off. You're probably super worried that you're going to be part of the next layoff. My friends, my colleagues, myself included, we're all pretty scared and a little bit stressed. It's a lot harder to get a job now and that's for two reasons. One is these companies have fewer job offerings. All I could do was just apply every single night. Apply, apply, apply. The amount of rejections or no callbacks or anything I received is insane. The other is that there's a lot more applicants than there used to be. And that's because these jobs were so desirable for so long that a lot of people decided to major in computer science. There's more people looking for jobs than companies hiring. There's been twice as many computer science graduates as there were a decade ago. And overall, what this means is it used to be that you had to be in the 65th percentile of engineers in order to pass an interview at a big tech company. Now you have to be in the 83rd. So what does this mean for Gen Z? Well, there's a new kind of job that's starting to become very desirable for them. And that is government jobs. Here's how to get into tech in 2024 in a tech sector that does not have mass layoff. Gen Z is diversifying where they're looking for jobs, and that's partly because compared to two years ago, it is a lot harder to find a job. The number of job openings has gone way down since 2022. Although the big tech jobs and private sector work often will have much higher salaries than the public sector, there are a lot of upsides to working for the government in a federal job things like student loan relief. A lot of public service jobs or public sector jobs will erase your student debt after a certain amount of time. Another is job security. People think that I'm exaggerating when I say that it's almost impossible to get fired by the federal government. People are much, much more likely to lose their jobs through a layoff in the private sector, about three times more likely than the public sector health insurance. I work in the public sector and I really love it because one, I always wanted to be a government employee. Two, I have great health insurance. My deductible is $350. I have a pension so I don't have to worry about the market. Early retirement. A lot of these jobs you can retire at actually 65 or even sooner. 
these things really matter to Gen Z. And of course, money is important. Money is important to everybody. But Gen Z is rating job security as the number one thing they care about when looking for a job. Now, I do admit, working in the public sector, you don't make a lot of money. And it could be based on where you live, but also what you do. I actually looked it up. If I went into the private sector for what I do for work, I can make over six figures. And that is very nice. And that literally changed my life. But I always remember, you could be laid off. Joe, you're late. What are you gonna do, fire me? Ha! All right, Joe, I'm not gonna ask you again. Get off your phone. What are you gonna do, fire me? Ha!